Over the past 10 days, we at East Mojo have steadfastly followed the story of 19 Assam workers who went missing near the India-China border in Arunachal Pradesh's Kurung Kame district. Our stories led to Assam MP Gaurav Gogoi writing to Defence Minister Rajnath Singh asking him to expedite the rescue process. Like most people, even we were clueless about what transpired between July 5 and July 21. But the testimony of one of the workers has turned this issue into something much more sinister and tragic. It is imperative that we change the focus of our narrative. The workers went missing, yes. But now that some of the workers have started speaking, we must pay close attention to what they are saying. I am Kalyan Dev and this week's episode of Decoded, we bring you a story that should have shocked the nation. But instead, it has barely created any noise in the mainstream media. Reason? You will find out soon. Pursuing for months. The village of Assam. In the 75th Independence Day. If you are unfamiliar with the issue, then allow us just 30 seconds to explain what has conspired in the past few weeks. On July 5, 2022, 19 workers left their workplace, a crucial road project under the Border Roads Organization in Huri, about 10 kilometers from Damin, a subdivision town in the Kurung Kame district. Over the next two weeks, they remained lost in the jungles and suffered immensely while the administration claimed that they were doing all to find them. As of July 28, 2022, the time we are recording this, 10 workers have been rescued, while 9 remain missing. Depending on which worker you listen to or believe, 1 to 3 workers have died and the rest remain missing. With that out of the picture, now let us return to the issue at hand here. Now this is the monsoon season and as everyone living in the northeast knows, monsoons here mean floods and landslides. So when we first heard of the workers missing, our first question was landslide. Remember the Noni landslide which killed over 50 people or the several landslide stories that have been reported from our region over the past few months? But in this case, there was no landslide. After dogged investigation by our bureau chief, Pallav Kumar Bora, we were told, of the record of course, that the workers allegedly fled in a vehicle going towards Damin, a subdivision town about 11 kilometers from the Huri project. 19 workers fled a strategically crucial project so close to the China border in the middle of the night. In a vehicle? What vehicle? How was no one checking the vehicle coming to and from the project? Until yesterday, we did not have any answers. But now that the workers have spoken up, we are getting answers and they are, in some ways, exactly what we feared. Overexploited workers forced to work against their wishes, threatened with dire consequences if they left, denied leaves, and to put it simply, sold by a contractor who it turns out sounds less like a contractor and more like a pimp. This is what the workers had to say.
Shocking, isn't it? Now we know, such is the pitiable condition of the labourers in India, that this testimony on its own does not sound that horrific. Again, that is simply because we are so used to hearing more bone-chilling testimonies that we could almost hear some people say, this ain't so bad. But sorry to break this to you, this is not acceptable. Why? Because these workers were not working on a private real estate project in some far-off location. They were working on a BRO project at the India-China border. And this is how we wish to treat workers who are tasked with building our infrastructure that is strategically crucial locations. Mind you, even before the workers' testimony, it became clear that the workers were far from being treated like human beings. Denied leave? Okay, that happens. But 19 workers start walking away from a project so close to the border and no one notices? Not for a day. Okay, understandable given that there were several people working there and people moved freely in these spaces. But it was not until July 13 that the lead contractor filed an FIR. Why did he wait for a week before doing the least he could do? Why did the administration not act against the contractor? Why we are yet to get an answer? This is also a good time to remind you that the administration reminded us time and again about rescue operations. While we are not going to be stupid to dismiss their efforts, the worker whose testimony we heard a few minutes ago makes it clear that they found a village and rescued themselves. Sure, after that, the locals welcomed them and did all they could to provide them with shelter and relief. But even as the workers' testimony shows their pitiful conditions, the Assam government once again showed that some lives matter more than others. In the three weeks since the workers went missing, there hasn't been a single tweet or statement issued by either of the state governments. The Assam government could have contacted the families, but clearly it did not see this as an important issue. The Arunachal government's grip on this issue is illustrated by the fact that the district administration could not even confirm that the workers had taken a vehicle or marched on foot. Now we do not want to speculate, but the workers were, apart from being poor people who cannot even dare to demand better working conditions, also come from the minority community. Do you think the Assam government would have stayed quiet if they had been, say, tourists from the state, or God forbid, government officials or a minister? The channels would have sent reporters by dozens. The ministers would have issued hourly updates and district administration would be enjoying sleepless nights. The Assam government, however, did ensure that a famous singer who slipped and fell in a resort and received a few stitches was airlifted from Dibrugar to Guwahati. What has happened is nothing less than tragic. However, if this does not make the authorities, the BRO and other stakeholders stand up and take notice of the inhuman conditions that the workers face, it would be far more tragic and the consequences far more dangerous. But we also know that the more things go wrong, the more they remain the same. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to East Mojo. For any queries, put them down in the comments section below and press on the bell icon for notifications.